Hey guys, D Mike here for the final episode of Luigi's Mansion. It's been a wild ride, a little bit of a hiatus, but we are back in action to take down one final ghoulish fiend. If you enjoy this game and you're excited to see the conclusion, liking the video, commenting, and subscribing would be amazing. Much love to all of you. Let's go ahead and take down one final throbbing door. The last one of the game. Make sure you fill up your heart gauge. You're going to need it. Let's go ahead and take out this one final key and unlock this weird, crazy, spooky door. This spade and crossbones, which I don't really know if that's any sort of a bit of iconography that I'm familiar with. But whatever, maybe a skull is too scary for kids. I don't know. But coming into the final chamber, which if we remember, somehow this is connected to um, the well. You can peek your head into the lion's den there. That's a place for adults. Anyway, um, and before you go and confront King Boo, steal his lunch money, rob his inheritance. Let's go ahead and confront him and get this final battle on the road. A little bit of a cutscene here to end the game. Kind of weird. Of course, we now learn that King Boo is a bit of an auteur. He's somebody with highly refined sensibilities for when it comes to his connoisseuring of art. He's upset about Mario causing him some trouble and he wants to get a little bit of revenge here. Mario, if you remember from Mario 64, jumped into the King Boo's dollhouse and the little mansion thing in the courtyard and wreaked some havoc. It's not quite a painting though. So, King Boo's a little bit off base. Kind of misremembered what's going on here. But he thinks that he wants to have us join Mario in a painting, and we're not going to let that happen, of course. Because we've got the Poltergust 3000. That's it. Time to dethrone the king here. And as such, of course, one last time, we're going to Schwerp Schloop, Warp Schlorg, King Boo, as we have done to all of his friends. Make sure you don't do that in public, though. You might wind up on a list. So here we go. Let's go ahead and join King Boo into the painting. And surprise, the final boss is Bowser? Could you have seen this coming, viewers? Oh my goodness. Here you go. But yes, akin to Mario 64, we will be doing our final battle inside the painting, which teleports us to the roof, which is currently engulfed in flames, as you can see. And that must have happened probably from a gender reveal party. Somebody decided to show off their kids' bits to the world and light the world on fire. So don't do that. Nobody cares all that much. So here we go, the final battle on the roof. It is not what I would consider a complex battle. However, it is kind of obnoxious and time consuming. So prepare yourself. The gimmick of this battle as you're about to see, is that first Bowser's gonna lay down a line of fire, and then he's going to toss us his balls. So we're gonna go, or we're gonna attempt to, not successfully, unfortunately. We're gonna try to suck on Bowser's balls and throw them in his face. So Bowser's gonna do an animation after he throws his balls at us, where we're gonna let that go, actually. You can't come after Bowser and successfully hit him with the ball at the same time. There's a small window where you might be able to if you hit it at just the right frame, but there's no frame perfect shenanigans going on here. We just want to get out of the way, actually, because he will land on you and do damage. And there is no way to recover your health in this fight, unfortunately. So these are the three attacks that Bowser has. He's got balls. He's got wind and fire so make sure you dodge those and get out of the way as well they do explode you don't want bowser to explode all over your face after you get done sucking on his balls you don't want that so ideally what you want is him to stop jumping in the air this is kind of annoying what he's supposed to do alternatively is he'll chase us that's what i'd like to see he'll chase us after throwing his balls There we go. Wait till he opens his mouth. 
There you go. Okay, that's not how that was supposed to go exactly. And uh, you can go after King Boo. So King Boo has 500 HP. And Bowser will try to freeze us, unfortunately, at the same time. So try to do as much as you can per cycle. King Boo will go back into Bowser's head. Somehow, I think he's supposed to be like possessing him or something. But yes, the moment you see Bowser jump into the air, that's your cue to get the heck out of there. Because you're not going to be able to do damage. The mines will just explode. So you just wait your turn. Wait for him to throw one at you. Hopefully he opens his mouth. Okay, apparently I'm going to have to... <laughs> you're not supposed to take damage every time, but, you know. You got to keep moving here. I would like to be able to get some of King Boo damage. Okay, so that was a failed cycle. That's awesome. Love that. Probably be easier if I uh, gave myself a little bit of distance the next time that Bowser decides to throw his mines there. If I can get him to run at me, that'd be awesome. There we go. Oop, get these. Yeah, you gotta wait for him to open his mouth, though. That's kind of the big thing. Alright, this might give us more of an opportunity now that we've got a little bit of space. Yes, here we go. So you can... Keep it moving around here, kind of kite King Boo around. Yeah, so try to keep the fight towards the middle of the arena. That'll probably help. Oh, and he's moving uh, the pedestals around, so you can probably use the pedestals to some extent. All right, so if you could not be this close to me, I'm just going to give up on that one. We're already running a little low in health, and I don't want to jeopardize the rest of the fight. So it appears that standing opposite Bowser and waiting for him to bring his balls to you, okay. Doesn't always work, unfortunately, as you can see. But yeah, you gotta be kind of careful. We've only technically gotten two, two hits on him, so that's kind of annoying. And he's just gonna, like I said before, try to land on us. When he jumps in the air, you're pretty much just kind of out of luck. Just get your Poltergust ready for another round here, and then hope that he will. There we go. Okay, King Boo should be popping right out. Come here, sucker. Technically, that's us. We're the sucker. Okay, we don't want that. Let's see if I can get a little bit more off of him for the next round. Stop it. Yeah, this is kind of, like I said, not a terribly difficult fight, just a really awkward one. And uh, if you're not ready for these types of dynamics, then this is what you'll get. Oop, wrong way. Oops, I completely missed. That's awesome. Love that for me. I'm just going to sneak right past you and give you the old Midwest there, Bowser. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, take your time here. Use this as an opportunity to kind of back it up. And usually, I think it's like when you get into the middle of the uh, arena. Boop, there we go. It does this weird, like, little, like, it kind of looks like a cutscene almost, but it's not. So you just got to kind of back up and dodge the ice blasts. I don't quite understand that. What does is, what is King Boo have to do with ice blasts? It's real creepy, though, watching Bowser's head come off. And now his head's upside down. Oh, no. Run from that. This is going to be near the end of the fight when things start to get a little dicey. Ooh, that looked painful. Not going to be as many places to kind of run around and hide, so. Just keep it running. You're going to need your top run speed, so once again, ignore the uh, ignore the mines if you can. I don't know if this is enough space. This might not be. We're going to find out here in a second. I don't want Bowser. Nope. Oh, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to blast it into myself. Thankfully, I did not get sucked up right there. That would have been horrible. I'm gonna run the other way as fast as I can, give myself some distance. Thankfully, Bowser does his fire attack. Spin off fire. All right, that's good. We'll take it. Okay, and we'll just back up ourselves. A little bit of space. There we go. Let's see where King Boo is this time. Yeah, it, it, this little cutscene kind of thing, I don't quite understand it. Oh no, it's getting down to it. Probably gonna need at least another two or three cycles to finish this off with how incompetent I am. Oh boy. 
Oh no, I don't like this. He's he's sign waving at us. Ooh. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. This might be in the space. Oh no, he's just gonna run away like a little baby. Like a little baby. Alright. Try not to get hit by the explosions. Ooh, this is this is the toughest part. It's right near the end. When the game is kind of going into panic mode here. Yeah, we're just gonna run. Ooh. Stay away from me. Oh, that was close. Yikes. You'd think that this would be enough space, but I don't, I can't right, rightly tell you. Hold on. Viewers, you'll see in a moment if it isn't, because I will die. This might be enough. Okay, very good. Let's see if this is, I'm like having trouble getting the uh, hitbox to recognize it right away with King Boo. Oh boy. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there, game. That might be, we're just gonna have to dodge really carefully. Oh no. Don't get killed by the crazy Bowser dance. Oh no. Oh no. That'd be a horrible way to go. We've already come so far. Let him readjust one last time. Okay. I don't know if he's going to walk towards us. Nope. That is a no-go on this one. And I don't trust... Bowser to give us some space, so I'm actually gonna move on the other side of him here. All right, bud, come on. This could do it. This could be the coup de gras here. Nope, that is a denial. It's one of the annoying parts of this fight is that it's inconsistent. There's no real way to know what the game is gonna have planned for you. Just get your poltergust out and hope for the best, I suppose. All right, come on, buddy. Show us them chompers. Boop, got him. All right, and maybe this will be enough. I don't know if I could get King Boo to register. That, my friends, is the final capture of the game as we almost got killed in the process. <laughs> oh, viewers, we did it. With seven HP remaining, that is an ultimate victory. And it still takes our health all the way. That was weird. Okay. Anyway, we've done it. Mario's very pixelated in the background. That's a nice filter. Oh, take a deep breath, everybody. We did it. We made Egad snort. He must be having some, uh, some nose candy. That's it. Well, he didn't blow fire. I mean, sort of he did. I don't know. He did possess Bowser, so. All right, so nobody cares about your, your resume here. We've got better things to worry about, like our results. We need to deposit our final cache of ghosts, yes. No, Mario's very dead, he's actually very dead. There we go, time to head back to the to the lab. Oh. He promptly drops it and just completely shreds the painting. Here we go. One more Animal Crossing coffee shop. Fanfare. Apparently this all happened in one night, according to the game. Okay, whatever. Sure. You do get to keep the earnings. But we need to bring Mario back to this earthly plane. We do have a few ghosts left to deposit, though. I don't remember how many we did. There's Bowser. And King Boo. Time to wash these ghastly ghouls. Yes, we know. Thank you, Gabe. It's not my first rodeo. Let's see how many we got. There's quite a few. And I do believe we have all of the ghosts in the game. I don't think I missed any. 
I could be wrong, but we'll check the painting room in a moment. Oh, that's a nice touch of that one's upside down. The sister on the ceiling. We did quite a few. We'll have to learn their official names here in a moment. Yeah, this, this last area had a lot. And that is an area complete. Uncle Grimley, Jarvis, Vincent Van Gore, Soupy, Soupy, Clockwork Soldiers, Sir Weston, and of course, King Boo. So that's all seven in this final area. I want to say that's everything. I could be wrong. But that's all the ones that I recall going after. But here we go, our final tally of money that we've gained in this area. There you go, there's the triple diamond that I men mentioned, the gold one, worth quite a bit. So 78,350,000 Jews. That is all ours. That is a game complete. Time to resurrect Mario. Spray him with electric nipples. Don't worry, Mario. You just need a little spin cycle. Now we can enjoy the epilogue with our brother. Rise and shine, Mario. Just get kind of pooped out of that. We did it. Oh, Luigi. I feel like the level of love from Luigi to Mario is probably not a two-way street. Oh, it's not love, it's laughter. Live, laugh, love. Luigi is losing his mind. It's very good. Also, what? What was that supposed to be? But uh, yeah, guys. That is Luigi's Mansion. This game was a lot of fun. Um, once again, I have no proper previous experience with this game. Um, this was a release for the launch of the GameCube. And I never played it. Uh, I was kind of a bit of a late adopter to the GameCube. I didn't have the ability to get one right away because I was a child and I don't have uh, money. So I just would play friends that would have it. I actually wound up getting a Dreamcast first, so that was why that happened, but um, yeah, this game was a lot of fun, and it's definitely a weird one. Um, perfect for spooky season, a title that I probably could have played faster, but in general, um, I thought it was great. I think the bosses are silly and fun and goofy. Um, not a complicated game, not super difficult. The mechanics of it are Definitely a little rough for a launch title on the GameCube, but once again, it was their first attempt at it. You know, they've made the sequels to it. Um, Dark Moon for the 3DS, and then uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Switch. So if you haven't played those, go give them a try. And let me know what you think in the comments if you want to. I haven't played those ones much. I played, um, I played 3 a little bit. That one's, that one's a pretty tightly made version of this. I would say it's a pretty good successor to it. It definitely is all of the shortcomings of this game that kind of tightened up by then, which I would hope it's, you know, been 15 plus years since this one got released. Um, but in general, a great game. It's a lot of fun. I would recommend those of you who haven't played it to try it. It's very short. I know that I kind of drug it out a little bit with how I've played, but uh, in general, it's awesome. And it's a game that and initially was kind of panned because it was um, just different. And I think different is good and different is good and you should enjoy that. So here we go, a little bit of epilogue. So the matter of the ghost was settled. Egad was so delighted to have all of his paintings returned and he used the treasure Luigi had to build Luigi a new house. Very kind. So instead of a mansion, we get a nice, beautiful. Okay, B rank, pretty good. 
I'm assuming there's probably other mansions you can get, but you know what? This looks really nice. Kind of looks like a place that you would uh, have in an area with an olive garden, maybe off of the highway. So there you go. 78,350,000 is my rank. Not the best I know, but uh, that's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Luigi's Mansion, and I'll catch you next time for a brand new series. Thanks for watching. Bye.